what is up guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to get started with using the keyframe panel in Fimara. so let's go ahead and get started i have a clip on the timeline here as you can see this is uh, a car just racing through here this is what we're going to be working with to add the keyframes okay now to get started um just so you guys know what um, layout i'm using i'm using the classic layout and uh, to access the keyframe panel, what I usually do is I'll just double click on this and it's going to open up uh, this over here. OK, now, sometimes you're not going to have the keyframe panel open. You're going to see this right here. As soon as you double click, you always want to make sure that you're on video and you're under basic. Right now, you're going to get what we used to see in the old version of Fumara, which is you can see the keyframes here. Now, in version 13, we're going to have a panel where you can actually see all the keyframes and you can apply different animations on those keyframes. Now, if you look here on the bottom of this window here, you're going to see um, a button that says keyframe panel. This is one of the new things uh, that we have in this current version. So go ahead and click on that. And this is going to open you know, a little uh, window here that's going to be the panel itself. OK, so what I like to do with this, I like to make it a little bigger because it's pretty small. I will just go ahead and. Uh, minimize here my uh, preview screen and I'll increase uh, this over here okay and you can even make um, the other screen smaller like that okay now we have our panel here right all right so to get started with this you need to start from the left side and go to the right side okay so over to the left side we have all the different things that we can apply keyframes to as you can see on the first one here we have the scale right which is going to be uh, under transform or well, these transform properties pretty much right so I, let me close all these things here so i can show you guys um, all right so on the top we have our transform uh, properties which are you know the necessary uh, uh properties of, of of the video really these are going to be the things that you're going to be um you know adjusting you're going to be doing this you have your scale which is you know how big the video is you also have the position where the video is you have your x axis and your y axis uh, you also have the rotation of the video you can flip the video now on the next one here you have the compositing uh here so compositing you have your blending mode and you can change the opacity of the video and on the bottom here you also have other things like changing the background auto enhance so all these things or the background you're not going to be able to apply any keyframes because you don't see this little keyframe uh, icon here okay now these are going to be the things that you're going to be able to apply keyframes to except for the background here okay now let's go back to transform because we just for this example i'm going to be showing you how to uh, do this using the transform uh, properties okay now right here let's say i want this video to zoom in okay so i'm going to move my playhead to the beginning of the video right and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to make sure that this is as you can see here this is pretty much the playhead that we have here so it mirrors uh, that so if i move this it's going to mirror that so i'm going to go to the beginning and what I want to do is I want to change the scale of this video to zero, right? Zero. And I'm going to add a keyframe here on this first frame Add a keyframe. And it's going to add both because I have these uh, locked here. Okay. Now, if you didn't have them locked, you have to, you know, do one by one. But I recommend having these locked. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some frames ahead. And I'm going to go ahead and reset the scale of the video back to 100%. So reset the scale. And now you're going to see that we have another keyframe that creates that that uh, pops up on here or keyframe points that pop up on here. Now, I want to play this video so you guys can see what we did here. I'm going to play this. It zooms into here. OK. Now, these are going to be our keyframes for this year. Now, you can actually add more keyframes. Let's say once the video, um, let's say we want, uh, I guess, the video to flip. <laughs> actually, let's say we want the video to uh change position i guess uh so we can start from um the beginning here right all right so let's do from yeah we do from the beginning right here let's say for the position i want i said let's go right so i can see the video itself it's a little bit here maybe right here where i can see the video all right let's say for the x position of the video uh, from this part, I want it to be off the screen. So I'm going to click and drag and move this over to the left side, kind of like that. Now it's off the screen, right? I'm going to go ahead and add a keyframe on the position, the X position. Go ahead and add that. As you can see, it's going to add a keyframe here. And what I want to do is, as the video is zooming in, you can see that 
you know, it's still stuck on that side here. But as it's zooming in, what I want to do is I want the video to reset to, the, to its original position so it fills out the screen. So I can just go ahead and hit reset over here. It's going to create that keyframe here. So if I play this, now I have, play that. So you can see it does both uh, things that I set on here. So this is just better visually because you can see all the keyframes that you're, you are working on, right? If you're adding multiple, you're going to have those within that keyframe panel. And one of the cool things you can actually do here is, and I'll cover this in a future video in more in detail, you can actually add animations to these keyframes, like quick animations. If you look on the top here, there's a toolbar. You have a uh, continuous curve, so you can apply that to your keyframes. You have, uh, what else here, just a regular curve. You have ease in, you have ease out, you have linear, which is what we have pretty much just linear. And you also have a uh, freeze, okay? So the way these work is you can select a keyframe here. Let's say I want this to uh, con do a continuous curve. So I click on this, it's gonna apply that to this keyframe, right? It's gonna do a continuous curve that goes you know, like curves, like while, while this is happening, it's going to curve. Right, so if I play this, right, let's play this. Hopefully you guys can see this. Let me go ahead and remove the other keyframes from down here. If you play this, you can see that this kind of like does a little curve on the screen here. You see that curve right there? So if I wanted to remove this, I want to go back to my original setting and then right click, I go over back to linear. Now I have my default. This is the default keyframe. And if you look on the bottom here, there's also an ease in and ease out. These are quick animations, pretty cool stuff here that you can do with this. And you can also adjust these as well. Let's say I apply this here. You're going to be able to adjust, you know, how much it they fade. So if you really, you know, mess them up like this, you're going to see that it does all kinds Kinds of things right this is essentially applying animations to your keyframes but i think this panel is going to help a lot in terms of you know if you have a video that requires you adding a lot of keyframes you're going to be able to visually look at them but uh, that is pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching make sure to go and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on the next one peace